So again, what has helped us be successful teachers um, can also be make us be very successful when we are leading meetings. So yesterday, Lee asked you all to please bring a piece of paper and something to write with. So if you could get those out and get those ready, please. I'm gonna start off with a really quick activity and then explain why I've done this. So you take your piece of paper and then you're gonna fold it in half like so, and then fold it in half again so that you end up with like four quadrants on your paper and a direct center. So do that and then unfold it. And then you've got like quadrant, 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 and a center. I'm gonna be honest, I'm going through this probably more quickly than I would in a meeting um, just because of time. So then now you're gonna take your pen or pencil whatever implement you're using to write with. And you're gonna start like in the center here and you're just gonna start to slowly draw a spiral and keep it a spiral as tight as possible so that it's like as small as possible, but just focus on doing that spiral and you're gonna do that. I'm gonna have you do it in less time than I would normally do this in a meeting slowly draw a spiral. So now, keep going a little bit more maybe. So now in that top left quadrant, I want you to write one word to describe how I'm feeling at this point. So one word that describes how you're feeling at this point. Just one word in the top left quadrant. And then in the top right quadrant, Right, the most significant thing I've learned so far is, write that in the top right quadrant, not like a massive paragraph, just a few words that sum it up. And then in the bottom right quadrant, write one question I still have is, and then in the bottom left quadrant, you can write one new action I will implement when I return to school is. And in case you missed like one of the things that I said because you were like wondering, you know, thinking about stuff, I'm going to put all of the questions really quickly here in the chat so you see them. So one new act, so the bottom left is one new action I will implement when I return to school. Yes. Now, I've just gone through that really, really quickly because of time. But the reason why I've done this is because it starts off a meeting well to get everybody focused on the same page. This is called a spiral journal. And you can change the questions so that they suit what you need. I've used this with students in the classroom and it was first introduced to me um, in a meeting. Um, and what you'll find when you do the spiral, and you're probably wondering, why did you have me do the spiral? Is that when you start out a meeting, everybody seems to be everywhere. And if you have them all just kind of quietly concentrate on drawing this little circle and doing this little spiral, Everybody will quiet down and then they'll start focusing on the questions or the um, commands that you have for each quadrant. So when I um, started getting ready for this pearl, I Googled like the most effective way to start a meeting. I went outside of our leadership and team dynamics course to see what the world said about it. And nobody said anything about like make your make the people in your meeting reflect upon things or make your me, people in your meeting like, come with a purpose. It was all about focusing, but no one really said, do a reflection activity like this. And what I have found is that when we take things that we do in the classroom and we adapt them to our meetings with um, our colleagues, it can be a really powerful way to like focus people into a meeting. So the reason why I think doing things like this are having um, people show up with an idea or a, something they want to celebrate and then do a think, pair, share, you know, various activities like that. The reason why starting meetings like that is so important is that often, I know I do this, you get lost in the amount that is on the agenda that needs to be covered in the meeting. You've got so many things you've got to get busy, got to do. And so you think, well, I'm too busy for time wasters such as this. But in reality, if you think about when our meetings are in school, most of them are at the end of the day. So an activity like this can refocus the group, you know, kind of have them leave their day behind or focus that energy on 
the topics or the main points that need to get done before the meeting starts. And if you just take a second to, and a moment to reflect and then also celebrate, it increases buy-in within your group and also focuses on the common purpose. And it will end up, especially if you're doing a celebration, improving overall morale. So I know that I'm going back to my department and before school even starts, I'm going to send them an email and ask them to bring with them one idea of what we can accomplish in as a department this year. And then we can set up an action plan about that, but they will already be focused on the idea in the meeting before we start and I'll have them talk to each other and then we'll begin. So again, what has helped us be successful teachers um, can also be, make us be very successful when we are leading meetings. Thank you very much for listening.